Hey girls. So for today's video, we are discussing another murder case. This video's murder case is going to be in Arizona. In this case, we are going to be dealing with a woman named Wendy Ocha. Oka. It's O-C-H-O-A. Wendy was born August 6, 19, in 1970, making her a Leo. Now, with as much research as I did, I couldn't really find much regarding her childhood, so it is a bit unknown. In 1994, she married Joseph Andreano. Unfortunately, not long into their marriage, Joseph did fall terribly ill. He was misdiagnosed multiple times until he was diagnosed with aneloid cyst carcinoma in, <laughs> in 1998. At this time, his sickness was deemed terminal. Joe attempted holistic therapies in hopes to make it better, but in 2000, he ended up opting to do chemotherapy. By this time, they did have two children and Wendy was an apartment manager, but she began to resent how many responsibilities she had with having two kids, a terminally ill husband, and her work on top of everything else. Wendy then began to frequent multiple bars in their area and she did unfortunately start having affairs with multiple men. In August and September of 2000, Wendy did attempt to obtain life insurance on her husband. No life insurance was ever purchased for Joe, but the attempt was something that was documented. In the morning of October 8th of 2000, Wendy bludgeoned her now 33-year-old husband to death with a bar stool and a knife in their apartment. His autopsy revealed that there was 23 blows to the skull and traces of sodium iodide, which is a deadly chemical found in his system. Now, unfortunately, about an hour before Joe's death, one of Wendy's co-workers did talk her into calling the police about him being terminally ill, claiming that he was dying. When the paramedics arrived, Wendy sh kind of shooed them away, claiming that her husband had a do not resuscitate on him. So the paramedics couldn't really do much and unfortunately had to leave. An hour after the paramedics left, Wendy did call the cops again. She claimed that she beat and stabbed her husband to death in self-defense. She also claimed that her husband, mind you, who is terminally ill and undergoing chemotherapy, was physically and psychologically abusive towards her. Now, because of the chemotherapy and the poisoning, Joe would have been too weak to even do anything. He wouldn't have even been able to defend himself and Wendy was charged with murder. On August 23rd, 2004, Wendy's trial did in fact begin, four years after her crime. Even with no prior criminal history, Wendy was going to be faced with the death penalty. Prosecutors claimed her reasoning to be money. Evidence ended up being brought up about the life insurance that was attempted to be purchased on her husband as a motive for the money on wanting him gone. Prosecutors claim that she could be after the $20 million due to malpractice, malpractice lawsuit regarding her husband that would be filed against her husband's doctors. They also attempted to prove that Wendy poisoned her husband with that deadly chemical in hopes to show on his autopsy that it would instead be a heart attack. For nine days, Wendy on the stand kept on just with her story. She just kept on testifying her own defense and claiming my husband was so abusive. He was such a horrendous person. Like I only did this in self-defense. I didn't do anything wrong. And she did that for nine days straight. She testified that her husband beat her and that his reasoning for being so outraged and so angry with her was due to him finding out about the affairs. She claims that there was a struggle with the knife that was used on him. Despite her dramatic testimony, on November 22nd, 2004, jury 
thankfully, found Wendy guilty with first degree murder. She was sentenced exactly a month later on December 22nd, 2004 to the death penalty. In 2007, Wendy did file a post conviction appeal claiming evidence of her affairs and the life insurance on her husband was unfairly brought up to the jury where it showed unfair distrust to the jury. She also claimed that the jurors were never given a chance to consider a lesser charge such as second degree murder or even manslaughter. But to this day, Wendy still sits in prison awaiting for her day to come. Um, you actually are able to see on the Arizona prison site, her and other inmates that are on death row. And you actually are able to see her prison number, which is actually kind of interesting to see. Now, Wendy still, like I said, is sitting in prison and she still in fact claims that she did not do anything but there's a lot of evidence against her saying that she did and I'll just kind of let you guys leave your own opinions on what you think on if Wendy is in fact guilty or if she was just some innocent woman who was in fact manipulated and physically and psychologically assaulted by her sick husband. So that's going to be the video for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a bit of a short one. I am trying to find more longer cases with more information for you guys because I find the more information you can find just of what happened and what kind of people they were is very interesting. So go ahead and leave a comment down below on any cases you want me to talk about and I will see you guys later as always. So like, comment, subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.